Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing an application called Duet and basically this, what this application allows you to do is it allows you to take an iPad as long as it's running iOS 7 or above and a Windows or Mac type device. Here I've got my Venue 7140 so it's a Venue 11 Pro and it allows you to extend or share the desktop onto the other device. So pretty good. And I'm going to talk you through kind of um, <coughs> connecting it up <coughs> and what I think about it. So first of all, what you do is you go to duet.com on your Mac or um, Windows device and you download and install the application. Okay, so once it's downloaded and installed, you get a little tab at the bottom and you click on that. <coughs> so it's completely free on the Windows and Mac side. Okay, and then you launch Duet. So... What it basically does is it gives you your frame rate, uh, your performance, and your resolution. So set your resolution takes you into the Windows settings, where you can obviously have extended desktop or dual display. You can set your resolution, your, your other bits and pieces. Um, and again, obviously, the higher you have the resource um, resources to drive you the screen, obviously, the more impact on performances. But this will run fine with everything, you know, kind of set at the highest. So install it, you know, get it up and running. And then what you do is you go to the App Store and you download and install Duet. So on the Apple side, on the iPad side, you'll say there's a charge of £11.99 for the app. Okay, so the Windows and Mac download is free. Okay, so on the on the um, master device, but on the slave screen, you have to have to pay for that. Okay, um, so what you do is you install it. Okay, and then oh, I haven't connected the cable up, so you obviously connect your cable. So it'll use 30 pin connector and also the lightning connector. So I think it'll support it. So it's anything with iOS 7. So possibly Gen 2, but definitely Gen 3 and above will connect into it. So you connect it up and then all you do then is you start the application. So let's start Duet up. And it says connecting to device. So you can see that's pretty quick, you know, uh, from connecting. So what I've done is I've set it up as a display to the left hand side. So it keeps the aspect ratio, the colours and the icons. Um, keeps looking pretty nice. You know, it's not really lost any quality or anything like that considering it is running a lower resolution um, than the, uh, the Venue 7140. That's pretty good. So I did have an issue initially connecting them together. It wouldn't pair. And I found out that's because you have to have iTunes installed and you have to be able to connect and sync between iTunes. So it must use something to do with the iTunes um, connection path to do this uh, dual displaying. So I had to make sure it was uh, installed, up and running. And once I'd done that, it was uh, it was all fine. So yeah, um, I basically reached my limit on PCs. So I had to uh, deactivate a couple of PCs and reactivate it. So as long as you can see the tablet through iTunes, you install the two apps and it, it'll work fine. So for 11 it's a really good application. What it means is my iPad is no longer stuck in a drawer. I can actually use it to dual screen. People who've seen my other videos will know I've got a productivity dot for my venue, 7140. So I can actually connect this up to a 25 inch screen. However, this is really good for if I'm out and about or don't want to be in my um, my office upstairs, but I still want the productivity of two screens. Um, according to Gartner, having two screens makes you 44% more efficient on a daily basis. So uh, good to know. <laughs> so um, where I use this is video and photo editing. So, you know, what, what traditionally trying to work on this 11 inch screen, um, obviously it's a bit limited, flicking between screens a lot. So what I can do is open up my photos in on this screen. So just bring up anything. Uh, so what I can do is I can go to say, um, I don't know, anything pretty much. So I can look through my pictures, see see which ones, I've got some more pictures, see which ones I want to uh, edit. And then over here on my main machine, I can load up, you know, Photoshop, um, and then just kind of like see which photos I want to want to change and I can and view them after I've kind of uh, Kind of done it such so drag and drop that across this is coming from a NAS drive um, Upstairs so a bit of a delay. So there you go So I can kind of drag and drop and then I can review them on the screen and um, same with video editing anything like that So we all know why two having two screens are handy um, 
The other thing that I've just thought of as well is, although I'm using touch-based, obviously, tablet technology, so I can touch the screen, um, not even running Windows 8 or Windows 10, you know, has a touch-enabled device. So they're not getting the full experience of Windows. Um, another thing I'd like to point out is Windows 8 and Windows 10 is supported with Duet. You, know, you can see it here running with, with Windows 10. So, you know, it supports the latest operating systems. But if you don't have a touch-enabled device, what you technically could do is have a laptop, your desktop, whatever is here, you could have that part to one side. And what you can actually do is actually use this as your main... Uh, so I'm getting away myself as your main device because as you can see you've obviously got the touch technology now of the tablet um, obviously this is an extended display so it's not going to show it in the best of lights it's going to start opening stuff on that screen so for example if I do internet obviously it's bringing up there but what you do is you'd set it to um, clone or uh, duplicate so then you could use the touch screen on here to do everything. So you can get the best experience from, from Windows 10 doing that. So, you know, the, click the Windows. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. There we go. I'm getting, uh, you know, not maybe the full Windows 10 experience, but it's it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'm just basically, uh, <laughs> it's obviously loading Facebook up on that side. So, yeah, you generally get the idea. So, £11.99, is it worth it? Definitely. You know, like I said, allows me to introduce touch where I wouldn't have touch, you know, if I wasn't using a, a Dell tablet. It allows me to dual screen and actually repurpose um, old technology I'm not using. So from my point of view, yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely worth the extra spending £11.99. So there you go, you know, pretty good review. Um, cover one of the, the most common issues of getting it to connect. One thing I need to point out is the cable it used needs to be an official Apple cable. People have had problems using uh, third party cables. Um, but make sure you've got a supported cable that you install the application on both devices and that you've got it so it can actually sync via iTunes and away you go even like with the screen orientation obviously there is a bit of a delay if I turn the screen what it will do is if I can actually if it'll let me turn it round it'll actually uh, reprocess so adjusting resolution to match that so it will work in oops will also work in um landscape not just portrait so it does actually support the fact that the tablet's got you know sensing technology and does actually rotate it doesn't even take that long to adjust so anyway i hope that re review was of use um any questions you want to leave me any feedback uh, feel free to do so cheers bye